Today Mike gets to come out from under the bus and go up on the bus instead. How's it going up there, babe? It's gonna be warm today. I'm gonna be very tan and beautiful. Well, monsoons is coming and we decided it'd probably be a better idea to break off from building the inside and waterproof the outside. The monsoons in Arizona produce some like really, really, really heavy rains and, and uh, quick thunderstorm succession. So we knew these would be a, a weak spot from the beginning. They're just uh, sun rotted and broken. So time to take it off and we got an idea. like a tar, it's oil based. I didn't want to use gas, but it was just the right thing for the job. Make sure the bottom of this is even with this right here. So it's like this on both sides. Oh, okay. See, it's gonna be like this and then there's gonna be a piece of wood right here that extends up just a little bit higher. And that stair step right there keeps water from, it just makes an impossible path. To travel so but we have these rivets up here and I think I'm just gonna grind off I'm just gonna grind them off but then we're screwing it back down so yeah I think it'll be all right we'll do that This has that little concaveness that meets the, the radius of the top of the bus. Now we gotta join those and the one that's still on the roof and make our big square. You know, it's really important to set up the drill and the this thing. So I've set this so that I'm working with one and a half inch wood. I'm setting this so I'm working with one and a half inch wood and it comes out like that. Have this feeling, feeling, haven't felt for so long Took a hold of me and won't let go I've been sleeping, caught me off my guard Cause you're in my space and now I'm so Hold me towards you and I cannot fight it My head's underwater, I try to disguise it Want you to hold me, though we haven't spoken I need that something to get And uh, pocket hole screws because they have a flat edge here and they're not tapered like drywall screws and uh, I want this to pull the board down not try to get through the metal
Without my glasses, anyway. Can't really see your face because I'm blinded by the light. Blinded by the light. Revved up like a deuce. Another runner in the night. Good. So, with our latches, it'll be perfect. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. It looks good. Yeah, and then it'll still do this. All right. Well, it's time to do some flashing. Woo! I like the way you flash better than the way I flash. I'm not gonna lie. putting down this is carpet tape and we're putting it down for no other reason than for setup like this doesn't really do anything in the end this is not going to provide any waterproofing or anything like that we're doing it strictly to help us hold things in place while we screw <laughs> <laughs> what would Meredith say you nasty and you need Jesus Oh, the plastic. It's okay. A skylight. It's so cool. Looks like it's sealed too. Excellent. One down, a whole another one more to go. Man, I'm tempted to make that one not open. Just coming off like this in pieces. Oh, nice and slow. Like you're peeling, like the windows. Remember how the windows peeled off? Yeah. Kind of yeah. does that here too if you just really But then gentle. the plastic is so rotted it starts breaking. Yeah, it's really bad. Tape this thing in place because I got to drill pilot holes. So then, when we put down the butyl tape, we'll drill right through, and the holes will be right where we left them. So now we just 
start drilling our pilot holes. Oh no. We just broke a drill bit. Aww. We have some more of these. Okay, so we had to drill new holes in the uh, skylight. So it came with these holes here, which we'll have to fill with something and put these. This is probably gonna happen to you like anybody else, but we thought we had bought the right size. The measurements that you get for this aren't exactly self-evident. So, um, so yeah, we're just, we're bodging a little bit to make this fit so that we're, we added the new holes. The new holes will, you know, easily uh, carry the screws that we need. And, uh, and we'll still get a really great seal on this. It's just we didn't use the factory holes. I gotta find the screw hole. Beautiful. Now it's happening. Good. Well, this one's going much faster and much easier <laughs> than the first one. That's for sure. I'll give it that. Right, we're the bottom of our screw barrel here. Now, this is following the same arc as the top of the bus. That's good. I wasn't completely satisfied with the waterproofing efforts that we put into the flashing. And while it looks really cool and everything, like these corners here all the way around, I just, I don't have a metal bender good enough to make a solid piece that could have gone around to do this. And that left these things open and I just, it was bothering me. And so I decided, you know what, we're just gonna use this. This is a, uh, I think they call it roofing tape. But it's basically like this, uh, like a tar, and this stuff is sticky. And then it's got an aluminum backing here. And we're gonna go ahead and just, we're gonna put this stuff on and create a bunch of additional waterproofing just to be sure, because I don't, we're gonna do all this nice woodwork and to have this thing pouring water in on it is just unacceptable. All this stuff here is gonna be covered pretty much with Henry's Tropical, you're never gonna see it. And uh, there's going to be a deck up to about this level right here. And you're not going to see it again. So not too worried about it, but I am worried about leaking water. So we are going to do this to make sure that doesn't happen. Let's Quick see. Roof Pro Aluminum. Instant waterproof repair. Instant. Ain't nobody got time for that. Just need to make sure I have a little bit of overhang on each side, which I do. And I want this to be kind of as flat as it can because this is where the seal comes down on top of this. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. No, it doesn't. It's really cool. It's space age and streamlined. Yeah. The two tar seals inside will align. A piece will break out on Earth. At least on our bus. 
It looks like rain. It does. We're doing this right about the right time. It looks really great. Yeah, and that piece of like extra corner I put in is now double sealed. just not gonna leak. Like this stuff is amazing. It just conforms so well. Even tight corners like that still get good coverage. I would be so shocked if something got in here. We're done. Awesome, the piano hinge works good. This is that soft stuff and this is creating a great seal right there. Now when we go down inside and put our latches on, it'll just pull this thing down and then it'll be totally watertight. Let's do it. So now, Boy, that's just like, I can feel the hot air blowing out past my hand. And look at the moon. Oh, that's sick. Look at the sun. Oh, no way. We're going to be able to see eclipses. So and sunspots. Cool. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. Like, look, look, look at the difference. Like, it's like blinding. Yeah. That's cool. There. Locked and we could put locks in here if we wanted to. Oh, absolutely for if we happen to be gone If we're leaving the bus to go on a hike all day or something like that. Absolutely. We'll lock the yeah. roof latch roof hatch Okay <laughs> Sweet Oh, you're right. I can feel the breeze like moving past me from having that open. Yeah. Wow. I'm so glad we did this. Okay. Watch the seal here. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead and latch it now. You see how it just smooshes the seal? It's awesome. All right. We're good. Okay. It's time for the water test. see anything. Oh. I don't think it's possible for water to get in this thing. Let's go to the back of the bus. Um, I went ahead and did a uh, hurricane forced water test. I basically blasted the seams of <laughs> the, the danger zones of the window where if potentially if water was going to leak, it was going to come in there. And I just put it on hard stream and I blasted the seams. And there is just zero water has come in. So total success on this. Super happy with this. This is great. We just have to sand it, but it's beautiful. We're done. Good work, everybody. Take, take the rest of the day off. <laughs>